Hey guys, so the day is finally here. I got myself an M1 MacBook Pro and I tested it in Sketch. I did a test on my 15 inch uh, quad core i7 MacBook Pro from 2016 and then on the M1 MacBook Pro that I just got. So my first initial tests were all about Sketch and our main workflows, which include, first of all, our books, which are like 450 artboards on just one single page, and also the thumbnails for the videos for this channel, which are also really a huge file. So I got the M1 16 gigabytes of RAM model of the MacBook Pro, and I tested the new M1 MacBook against my old computer, which is this one. It's a 15 inch, 2016 MacBook Pro quad core i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. So how do they stack up? So here is a comparison of me opening and closing some files, moving them around, duplicating a lot of very heavy artwork. And between those computers, you can see that there is already a huge difference in favor of the new MacBook Pro. But what really blew my mind the most was actually duplicating the artboards or the pages of our book, designing user interfaces, and moving them around and panning and zooming. So on my 15 inch, it actually takes a while to even duplicate them and moving and panning and zooming. While it still works, it's a little bit choppy, so not really that great. So when making a version of this test on the M1 MacBook Pro, I actually duplicated it once, but it didn't really almost feel that. Like the fan didn't turn on for just even a second. And when I started moving those files, you could see that the artboards turned to white, but it just doesn't really matter because they quickly fill in. And when you start zooming into a specific artboard, you just get there almost right away. So what I did was duplicating those artboards one more time. And that actually means it's 1800 artboards, full of content, full of vector graphics, full of text on one single sketch page and it's still pretty responsive. So this is my very first initial impression of how fast it is, and I believe that both Apple and Sketch did an amazing job here. Sketch just flies on those computers, and it's really just amazing to see that I'll be able to make even larger books and even more content for you. So I haven't tested the battery life yet, but this laptop after just four years lasts for about two and a half hours. So I think the M1 is gonna beat that easily. And in case you're wondering, yes, I'm able to connect this display which is a Thunderbolt 27 inch Apple display to this laptop using the adapter which basically is a USB-C type adapter to the mini display port port that's uh, still Thunderbolt and it just works all the IOs of the monitor actually work just as well so I have some drives connected to it and basically everything just works and as far as my workflow goes Sketch, IA Writer and Final Cut Pro which are the three apps that I use the most they all just work and they really work great because they're all universal apps. So if you're an Adobe user, I think that you should wait a bit for them to be fully optimized. Because from what I've seen, Photoshop and apps like that still work using Rosetta, so that like emulation service, but they might get buggy or they might get unresponsive. You never know because it really depends on the workflow. So if you're doing any very important projects right now, I don't think it's a good time to switch. But if you're just working in Sketch, maybe Final Cut and a couple of Apple apps, it's just perfect. So anyway, that has been my few cents about the new Apple M1 MacBook Pro. But for now, the first day and the first testing, I'm just completely blown away by this computer. It's gonna fit my workflow very nicely and it's gonna basically make everything a couple times faster. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and see you next time. Cheers.